tender chicken and fluffy dumplings are enveloped in a rich broth studded with carrots and potatoes in this easy, hearty recipe for Instant Pot chicken and dumplings. Hi everyone, Kristen here. As someone who suffers from a chronic disease, I believe homemade is best, but it doesn't need to be complicated. I've shared with you before that Sunday nights were reserved for family dinners at my grandparents growing up. My papa would cook a big meal that we would all sit down and enjoy together, and the memories and the food are just precious to me. My papa was famous for his pot roast and his chicken pot pie and his baked beans and his recipe for chicken and dumplings, which I'm gonna share with you how to make using your Instant Pot today. So let's get cooking. To get started, we're gonna hit saute on our Instant Pot and we're gonna add in just about a tablespoon of olive oil here. And we're gonna let that, once my oil's heated, I'm adding in one small minced onion, two stalks of celery that have been minced, one pound of cube boneless, skinless chicken breast. You could certainly use chicken thighs if that's what you have on hand. And then we're gonna season that up with a good pinch of salt. We really wanna season the layers of our soup as we go for a really incredible, delicious recipe. And then we just wanna saute our chicken and our onion and our celery here, just until our chicken is nice and golden and the onion and celery have become softened. Already smells incredible, that onion and celery and chicken combination, mm, perfection. All right, my chicken is looking nice and golden and so now I'm going to add in one clove of minced garlic. We don't wanna add our garlic any sooner or we could risk burning our garlic, which would ruin a dish fast. We just wanna saute it here for just about 30 seconds, just until we smell it. And you know the drill, anytime we use the saute function, we must deglaze our pot. To do so, I'm adding in a half a cup of dry white wine today. You could certainly use chicken broth if you don't cook with alcohol. And you wanna use like a Pinot Grigio or a Chardonnay. I have a Chardonnay today. And then we wanna just use a wooden spoon or a spatula and just scrape up all those brown bits on the bottom of our inner pot. It's gonna add flavor and prevent a burn notice. We just wanna let that cook for just a minute or two just to let that alcohol kind of evaporate off and the flavors to really deepen. Looks perfect, so we're gonna hit cancel on our Instant Pot to turn off the saute function. And then to finish up our chicken stew here, I'm adding in six cups of low sodium chicken broth, three sliced carrots, three cups of peeled and diced russet potatoes, one bay leaf, two sprigs of fresh thyme. If you don't have fresh thyme on hand, you could use a half a teaspoon of dried thyme leaves. Don't use ground thyme, the flavor is not the same one teaspoon of seasoned salt. If you don't have seasoned salt on hand, you could use a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder just to add a little extra oomph to our chicken and dumplings here. I'm also adding in a half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna give everything a good stir here. And now for our dumplings. While I certainly won't judge you if you take a shortcut and used canned biscuit dough, I'm telling you that the homemade drop biscuits that come right from my papa's kitchen are super easy to make and the flavor and texture is so superior. You won't regret taking the extra couple minutes. To make our dumplings, I'm gonna combine together two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder. I'm gonna whisk that well just to incorporate that baking powder and salt into our flour and then make a little well in the center of the bowl. To that, I'm adding in 3 fourths cup of milk, any variety of milk will work, and three tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna stir that with a wooden spoon just to bring it together. We don't wanna overwork our dough here. Just incorporate it, and that's it. We're gonna scoop our biscuit dough by one tablespoon portions into our Instant Pot here. And I like to use this mini cookie scoop, which is just perfectly portioned out, and it makes it so that my hands don't have to get sticky, because this drop dumpling dough is a little bit on the sticky side. If you don't have a mini cookie scoop, just use a tablespoon measure. 
We're gonna scoop that right into our broth here and repeat until all the biscuit dough is complete. And then if needed, you just kinda wanna push your dough down into the liquid so that it's fully submerged. That will help the biscuits to really fluff up and cook and become soft and tender and melt in your mouth. Delicious. And that's it. We're gonna pop our lid on our Instant Pot. Make sure your venting knob is pointed towards sealed. Now to set cooking time. You're gonna hit manual or pressure cook and use the plus or minus buttons to adjust until it reads five. You just need to cook it for five minutes on high pressure. That's it. Once the cooking time has elapsed, don't do anything. To try to do a quick release of pressure would result in hot liquid spewing all over your kitchen. You would get burned, you would be left with a mess, and your dumplings would seize up and become tough. Don't do it. You wanna wait about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes has elapsed, you can then do a quick release of any remaining pressure, and to do so, you would just use a long, wooden utensil of some sort and knock your venting knob from the sealed to the venting position. And stand back just in case there is any additional steam that's released so you don't get burned by that. Then you can open up the Instant Pot. Mm. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. It takes me right back to my childhood in my papa's kitchen and oh, just the memories are precious. We're not quite done yet though. We want to add a little bit of cream to thicken up our chicken stew here and some peas just for a little burst of freshness. So to do this, you wanna hit cancel on your Instant Pot and then hit saute again. I'm gonna add in a half a cup of heavy cream, you can use whole milk if that's what you have on hand, and one cup of frozen peas. I'm just gonna give this a stir here and we're just gonna let this saute for just two to three minutes just to thicken slightly. That heavy cream is really gonna finish this chicken stew with a luxurious finish and just take it over the top. That looks good. We can dish this up now. All right, I have to go in for a bite here. I cannot wait to have one of these dumplings again. Oh my goodness. You guys, the biscuits or the dumplings, whatever you wanna call them, they really, really just melt in your mouth and the chicken is tender and that cream, mm, just took it over the top. You guys have to try this recipe. It is out of this world delicious. And for another delicious, hearty chicken recipe, be sure to check out my next video where I share with you how to make Instant Pot chicken chili. Until then, happy cooking.